Thousands of customers are getting refunds after their flights were canceled. The U.S. Department of Transportation ordering six airlines to pay out $600 million. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has our top story. The Department of Transportation says they've received a flood of complaints about airlines' refusal to give passengers their money back after canceling or changing their flights. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said they want to help passengers seeking refunds get paid back quickly and that airlines need to be held accountable. The department is also assessing fines for more than $7 million against those airlines for extreme delays in providing those refunds. Many airlines do offer vouchers or credit for future travel before offering refunds, though some passengers say they would rather just have a refund. I think they should give them refunds and within a short period of time. Most of the airlines seem to have enough money to do that, so I, I don't really understand why they, why they don't, rather than just giving them vouchers. One woman said she was stranded for two days when her flight was canceled, and she had to try and find tickets from another airline. I was booked on three or four different flights throughout the day and ended up not leaving. I was at the airport for like 12 hours in Bangor, Maine. I was supposed to catch like a 6 o'clock flight, 6 a.m. flight out, and I ended up catching a 6 p.m. flight out. Hillian said during her hectic trip, she was offered hotel vouchers to stay the night and credit for other flights rather than a refund. In my situation, they were able to get me home eventually. But at first, they had only offered me the one night. They said, I can only give you one night voucher, but they stranded me for two days. They all need to be held to a standard. Better business practices, that's it's unfair and we're really at their mercy. The Department of Transportation says airlines and ticket agents have a legal obligation to refund customers if their flight is canceled and they want a refund. They also say it's illegal to instead provide vouchers if customers don't want them. Currently, the only domestic airline being ordered to give refunds is Frontier Airlines. The rest are all foreign-based carriers. However, the Department of Transportation says it will be issuing additional penalties for further violations later this year. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.